This videotape will show you how to weld some common joints using the inert gas shielded metal arc welding process in the flat and horizontal positions. These joints are the butt joints, the T joints, the lap joints, and the outside corner joints. After viewing this videotape, you should be able to write down the safety precautions to observe when using the inert gas shielded metal arc welding or MIG equipment, and describe the procedures for welding a butt joint, a T joint, a lap joint, and an outside corner joint in the flat and horizontal position using MIG equipment. When working with MIG equipment, particular care should be taken to protect the body from excessive heat, spatter, and ultraviolet rays. The hair and scalp can be protected by wearing a welding cap. The eyes and face can be protected with safety glasses and a welding helmet. A set of leathers will protect the body, and a pair of welding gloves protects the hands. Handle hot metal with a pair of pliers, and keep the work area well ventilated. In all of these demonstrations, the base metal used will be 1 8 inch thick mild steel, and the wire will be 35 thousandths mild steel wire electrode. The recommended operating ranges for a 35 thousandths diameter wire are 65 to 160 amperes and 15 to 21 volts. The inert gas will be a mixture of 75% argon and 25% carbon dioxide and should be regulated to flow at a rate of between 20 to 25 cubic feet per hour. The operating settings that we will use for these demonstrations are an amperage of 160, a voltage of 20 to 21, and an inert gas flow of 25 cubic feet per hour. Make all the necessary adjustments. For a butt joint in the flat position, tack each end of the plate, leaving about a 3 32nd inch gap between the pieces. With the tack pieces in a flat position, Make sure the area under the joint is free and clear to allow for full penetration. Hold the gun at a 90 degree angle so that it is pointing directly into the joint. You may weld with the gun in this position or you may choose a leading or trailing lead angle as you travel across the joint. Position the end of the wire on the leading edge of the joint and in the center of the root opening. Press the trigger to start the arc and then keep it moving at a very even speed, always making sure the wire is running on the leading edge of the puddle. A steady travel speed allows you to maintain an even bead. When the joint is completed, inspect it for proper bead width and proper penetration on the back side. The next joint is the T-joint. Position the pieces on the work table in the flat position. This puts the stem of the T in a vertical position. Hold the gun at a 45 degree angle so that it bisects the 90 degree angle formed by the T. Depending on the operator's choice, a trailing, a 90 degree, or a leading angle may be used in the direction of travel. Starting at either end of the joint, press the trigger to start the arc and keep it moving at a steady rate. Be sure that the wire is aimed at the center of the root to get proper penetration. You may use a straight line travel or make small circles as you travel across the joint. Keep the wire on the leading edge of the puddle. At the end of the weld, be sure to backfill the crater to prevent any crater cracks or poor weld ends. Inspect the completed weld and look for proper bead width and uniformity on the front side and proper heat line on the back side of the joint. The first step in making the lap joint is to tack the pieces of metal on the ends and lay the workpiece in the flat position on the work table. Position the gun at the edge of the joint at a 45 degree angle so that it bisects the 90 degree angle formed by the joint. Holding the tip to work distance at about 3 8 inch Start the arc at the edge of the joint and move across the joint at a steady speed. Move the gun in a straight line travel or use small circular motions. Keep the wire in the center of the root for proper penetration 
and also on the leading edge of the puddle. At the end of the joint, be sure to backfill the crater. Inspect the joint for uniformity of the bead on the top side and proper penetration on the back side. The outside corner joint is the next demonstration. Tack well the pieces together so that they form a 90 degree angle and leave a 90 degree groove along the joint. Hold the gun at a 90 degree angle pointing into the root of the joint. Maintaining a 3 8 inch tip to work distance, start the arc and move across the joint. Keep the wire in the center of the root and use a travel speed that will allow the joint to be completely filled. Inspect the joint for proper bead uniformity on the top side and proper penetration on the back side. The next series of demonstrations will show the butt, T, lap and outside corner joints, but this time they will be made in the horizontal position. The preparation of the metal and the tacking will be the same as was used in the flat position. For the butt weld in the horizontal position, place the metal in a jig so that it is in a vertical position with the joint running horizontally. The angle of the torch head may be either leading, trailing, or 90 degrees to the plate surface. Use a side angle of 5 to 10 degrees which will point the tip of the gun slightly upwards toward the upper plate. Start the arc at the edge of the joint. Keep the wire in the center of the root opening and carry it on the very front or leading edge of the weld puddle. When the joint is complete, inspect it for proper bead and penetration. To weld the T-joint in the horizontal position, hold the joint in a jig so that the stem of the T is in a horizontal position. As in flat position welding, the torch is held at a 45 degree angle, bisecting the 90 degree angle of the T. Use a steady even speed or a slight circular motion. If the circular motion is used, a slight pause on the sides will overcome any undercut that may develop in the weld joint. When the weld is complete, inspect for proper bead and penetration. To weld the lap joint in the horizontal position, hold the joint in a jig so that it is in a vertical position with the edge of the lap running horizontally. Position the torch at a 45 degree angle to bisect the 90 degree angle formed by the edge and surface of the two pieces of plate. Strike the arc and move across the plates. Make sure the wire is on the leading edge and move at a steady speed to prevent overlap on the bottom plate. When the weld has been completed, inspect it for proper penetration and a uniform bead. To weld the outside corner joint in the horizontal position, one leg of the joint is held in a jig at a 45 degree angle so that the outside corner is in a horizontal position. Position the torch so that it points at the root of the joint with a slightly upward angle of about 5 or 10 degrees. Start the arc and move across the joint at a steady speed to fill the groove and to prevent any overlap on the lower side. As with the flat position weld, carry the wire on the front or leading edge of the weld puddle. Inspect the completed weld for a uniform bead and for proper penetration. In review, you have seen how to protect your body when welding with the inert gas shielded metal arc welding equipment and how to make the butt joint, T joints, lap joints, and outside corner joint in both the flat position and the horizontal position. The ability to master the techniques in making these common joints with MIG welding equipment is an important skill in the welding industry.